My name is Erin Murphy. I'm a double master's student in the Evans School of Public Affairs and in the Jackson School of International Studies. I'm one of three students um, that are coordinating a art exhibit in January showcasing 130 pieces of art from a artist association in Kenya. Um, they're called the Ngesha Artist Association. Um, on our study abroad, we went to an arts festival that they were hosting and they invited us back and we were so inspired by the work that they do within their community. Um, they use art to engage in human rights issues um, and they mobilize their community to talk about human rights issues. And so we did a couple collaborative pieces with them. They entrusted us to bring back 130 of their pieces back to Seattle. And this is one of them here. And so when I met these artists, um, they were just exciting. They have a studio in this village with a dirt floor and you can barely even see the walls because it's just covered in art. And in the midst of hearing chickens and goats and broken down cars outside, these artists have formed a group and they paint. Um, and their primary, primary identity is as artists, but human rights is part of their everyday experience and they bring that into their art. And seeing the murals that they do in their community um, were just amazing. You can't walk by that and not wonder how they are motivated and so committed to doing this. Um, and just seeing the kind of attention they're just now getting, um, I think it's a very interesting time for them because they've been unknown and now they're starting to get attention from the U.S. Embassy. Um, here in Seattle, it's an excellent opportunity to get them more recognition for the amazing work that they're doing, but I think it's going to be an interesting time as the African understanding of human rights is now meeting a Western understanding of human rights and just seeing what, how that can best partner. And on January 9th, um, it's a Saturday from 7 to 11 at the Fremont Abbey, um, we are hosting an exhibit and sale that's called Pause, A Space for New Visions.